Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Yet another beautiful day lies ahead of our beautiful nation as we continue to make a beautiful progress towards a beautiful future. Folks, as always, I'll keep this introduction short. If you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. So if you have any thoughts, opinions, suggestions, tips, ideas, stories, anything you'd like to share down below, feel free to do so in the comments as well, because again, I do read through all the comments, so it will be responded to or acted upon in one way, shape, or form. And one last thing to touch on today, folks, and that is, of course, the only thing I touch on once a month. I try to keep it to a minimum, but if you've been really, 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 really enjoying this series, then I humbly, humbly request that you perhaps consider becoming a channel patron or member. Again, to become a channel patron, you can check out Patreon, linked in the description down below. And to become a channel member, you can check out the giant join button that's right below the video, or you can check out the link that is also in the description down below. Again, it is never an obligation, it's why I try to keep mentions of it to a minimum, but it does really help support the channel, it really does help us sort of stay alive and running, and it really helps especially with these longer running series. Uh, that have gone on for, I mean, wow, <laughs> quite some time. It really does, uh, it really does help. But again, and to be crystal clear, it is not an obligation at all. Just something to consider. Think of it like, I guess, a, a Netflix subscription or a, or, a, or a Twitch subscription, if you will. Uh, there are perks going either way. So, uh, you know, check out the links if you're curious about what kind of perks and benefits you get, you know, from various emotes to titles and all sorts of stuff. But I will not belabor that point any further. Again, feel free to check it out. Links to both are in the description down below. Uh, good ways to support the channel, but of course, hanging around, watching, sharing, commenting, all those are fantastic as well. So, like I always say, no obligation, folks. And with all that said, one last thing, actually, I do want to touch on that I wasn't planning on touching on. But if you aren't already in our Discord, a link to that is in the description down below as well. And I highly recommend checking that out. It's a wonderful space, wonderful people, wonderful community. I'm really proud of it. Uh, and just a cool place to just chill and hang out and talk about various video games or just life in general. Uh, fun times. Fun times had by all. But uh, please excuse my uh, prolonged introduction there. I hope you all uh, don't mind. Let's uh, let's get right to work. Because, yeah, no kidding around. There's a lot. There's a lot to do. We will likely spend a lot of today in double speed. Uh, just because there's a lot of construction stuff going on. And it might actually be time to start planning our uh, nuclear city. Maybe. 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 I'm going to try and sort out some of this tourism stuff as well today, but uh, I'm not going to... We're not necessarily going to put down stuff. We're, like, we're not... We're, uh, we're <laughs> What's the best way to put it? We got to start working on the bridge. We got to start working on, you know, the layout. We got to figure out where all the uh, the production facilities and stuff will go. There's a lot to consider. So I want to start doing some of that because otherwise we're going to find ourselves in a bit of a trouble spot as we, uh, you know, turn our attention to that. Well, not a trouble spot, but we'll have everything done and then we'll kind of be like, okay, well, I guess now we just stare at the stuff get built until, uh, I don't know, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know, until we have to build another city or something. I'd be curious to see when the next update comes through as well and what that next update actually includes. Uh, there was some talk actually um, about the electronics that these guys are potentially looking for. And there were some great suggestions in the comments, you know, uh, chargers, uh, you know, things for your camera, you know, cell phone stuff. Like, yeah, there was a lot of really good ideas and I, I totally agree. And it actually reminded me that I vaguely remember, vaguely remember some mention of the... Uh, developers allowing for or rather uh preparing the manufacturing uh what should i call it uh, process manufacturing oh there's a there's a, the production line there's a phrase i'm looking for and it's, it's skipping me right now but uh they were they were planning on implementing that for tvs and perhaps later computers as well right now the only thing we really produce well right now we produce generic electronics right like when we go to our uh electronics factory or not even that but if we just look over here all we get are electronics and i'm not sure if that's supposed to represent just one thing in particular or if it is just a variety of electronics and i would assume the latter but i thought and i could be mistaken don't quote me but i could have sworn i saw some mention sometime many months ago now that electronics was actually going to be like radios tvs and computers again don't know if that's necessarily what's happening but i just wanted to say that that would be rather rather awesome uh i, I think it'd be pretty cool to see um you know, this this one uh, electronics assembly hall 
maybe become the 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 final step of assembly because this is where you know all the assembly happens but it'd be cool to see like what kind of different or maybe i'd rather see you know i'd rather like to see a, a radio assembly hall a tv assembly hall a computer uh assembly hall uh, either way it'd be neat to see how they kind of make that work and and, and, and pull it off. I would also like to see more additions to the universities. I mean, some of y'all that have only joined recently will never um, never have seen uh, research be done. I would love to see more research added, especially for some of these, uh, you know, more modern gadgets, if you will, pocket radios and uh, and, and TVs and, 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 and flat screens and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, I, I digress. Um, the reason why I actually came here was to check up on how these tourists are doing. I'm wondering if I do want to lower the price. I just, I haven't nailed tourism just quite yet. Obviously, if we take a look at our scores, they're not that great, um, at all, at all, at all. I wonder if it's just a matter of, I mean, tourists just kind of like being stuck up over here, or I don't know, like not able to get electronics. I guess I gotta get an electronics store up over here as well. Not able to get food. Oh yikes! What's happening here? Why no food? Why no food? Are we out of food over here? We should not be out of food. We are not out of food. Okay, great. Uh, these guys are mostly topped up. Hmm. I just want to check. Both of them do go over there. Why don't we go ahead and buy a couple more uh, trucks over here? Because I feel like that that's the only explanation I can see for uh, for food not being delivered. Meat's been fine, I think. So let's just add one more truck there. That'll hopefully uh, cover us over here. That might explain the poor experience right off the bat. Meat's been okay. Alcohol's been available. Despite us not buying it. So that that's that's actually good. Remember when we were worried about alcohol being a potential problem? Potential uh, 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 issue? How about we have food? Hopefully, hopefully that gets sorted. That should help. Again, we're not doing anything about churches or spirituality, of course culture again i mean i think a lot of these people they should be able to drive down to here and experience culture and stuff that's kind of the point i don't want to build a thousand things over here and in fact they should be able to come down over here to pick up their electronics as well though maybe maybe uh you know what again i think that's probably why they didn't have electronics because you'll remember we had a bit of a backlog or a bit of a bottleneck rather i should say with regards to producing electronics so hopefully that'll get sorted in the next uh you know couple of weeks if not a month or so uh, okay, so that's that thing taken care of. Food over here is also lacking. What's the deal with that? Is it just a lack of trucks, perhaps? Um, we've got about 31 tons of food over here. You are a classroom. Uh, we've got tons of meat. We've got... This is basically topped up as far as food is concerned. we got some food here. And let me just check. You are assigned to this spot. Yeah. We'll be able to drop off food over here. This is what? This is the St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station. St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station. You are unloading food. Yeah, all that's good. All that's good. Just curious what's uh, going on here. Oh my god, look at the number. Look at the amount of clothes we have here. We should really look into exporting some of that. I mean, not too far away to actually truck it out. Clothes do make a decent bit of money. Um,. Or we can consider daisy chaining. Yeah, that would probably be foolish and pointless. Nonetheless, um, hopefully the electronics things will be sorted out. Hopefully tourism will get a little bit better. Uh, we will turn our attention to that in the relatively near future. Maybe a little bit today. I just want to keep an eye on it. Population-wise, we're doing all right. If we take a look at um, this year as a whole. Have we really been stagnant for the last that long? Wild. I guess our 21 pluses are kind of reaching their capacity as well until we start moving them into these new buildings on mass. But I don't really want to do that until our working infrastructure is set up. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Escapes looking okay all time. I think we're pretty low at an, uh, as far as all time is concerned. Yeah, doing all right. All right, cool. All that done and investigated. Let's go ahead and for now at least hit play. There's a couple things I want to check over here. There was some concern that our train might be stuck over here oh no this train isn't stuck over here so what's going on over here again this was pointed out in the comments so i just want to clarify what's going on over here is this guy is trying to load up on stuff um presumably i'm not sure what he's loading up on right now but you can what are you what are you loading up on what are you what are you waiting for over here 
Because what's going to happen, and actually I can rush him through. It's not a problem to do that. Um, he's still loading plastics? Not, you've not got to wait until loaded. Oh, you do. Okay. What if we turn that off, I guess? Are we really that low on, on plastic production right now? Oh, chemicals. Popped up on plastics. I guess this is taking the uh, the forklifts a very long time to get the plastics over. Maybe. Something's up. Oh no. Okay. Cool. Wow. While I was, uh, it must have been like a point zero one, um, tons or something. Anyway, this that's what was uh, getting this train stuck over here because that this train has to come down over here as well. At the end of the day, I'm not too concerned, though, because we have a huge surplus of crops in the area, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, this train was not stuck. Uh, however, I thought it would be worthwhile uh, to check it. These fields are doing quite well. A ton of crop crops over here. Crops. <laughs> a ton of crops over there. Uh, not a lot of... Okay, it's not so... Not so good. We're filling up. Forklift will come out. And it'll pop out basically right away. I guess uh, the harvest seasons are beginning. I do wonder if there isn't a better... I guess it's all the same, they have to go all the way back there, right? It's either come down, a little bit of backtracking is all we can really reduce. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. We should be okay, like how much do we have in here? 266 tons. Okay, what if I build this? Hmm. really doesn't flow, eh? It doesn't go from the agro farm over to the uh, the grain storage. We need it at the agro farm because the train picks it up at this warehouse to take it over to Petrograd. Um, it's weird to me that it doesn't flow this way. In some ways it might be for the better because there are no... Um, there, There is like a... There's a stoppage point, I suppose, but in other ways it's uh, definitely not ideal. You are distributing... Oh, hang on a second. Wait, what, what the hell? Okay, hang on a second, hang on a second. So we've got you loading up and dropping off at the grain storage, right? Unload at the grain storage, unload at the warehouse. It's crops. Oh, I see, you're going direct to this warehouse. So is this stuff just kind of sitting here? 234 tons just sitting there? All right, you know, let's go ahead and add not assign more buildings. Okay, wonderful. Wonder if I get rid of one of these fields temporarily. Just so I can ship this stuff over. Um hang on, we got this guy over here. What was your former Oh no, you were actually picking up food and stuff, right? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, alright, so this this definitely needs doing. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to uh to do this most efficiently. This warehouse has how much? 62 tons. Alright, about another round trip for this thing if it needs to top up, which it does not need to do. So let's go ahead and, I can't believe I'm doing this, go ahead and remove the Primo warehouse. Instead, add this. Go ahead and load props over there and hopefully unload over here. And again, this is temporary. This is just until we get all of this all these 200 tons of crops shifted over. Uh, we are pointlessly preventing our own uh, production efficiency over here, so I'm glad I noticed that. All right, good stuff. And the warehouse can wait a little bit, but I do need to remember to get back there to uh, to actually get that work done. Now, up over here... Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> look at that. I do like how they kick up, like, the dust and whatnot. Really unfortunate that that um, vehicle, that... that I mean, what, what is this thing? What's it called? The excavator. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, I guess that's an excavator. That looked like a, it was carrying like a crate or something. It's unfortunate that that's the thing at the front because it was slowing everybody down, as you saw. Uh, but as soon as it was uh, no longer blocking passage, you can see how everyone kind of like um, picks up a little bit of speed. But I think we will be upgrading the roads over here because uh, we are needlessly slowing ourselves down. We're needlessly slowing this entire construction down because we're not going to be building roads anyway. We're going to be paying for them whether it's now or in the future, we might as well uh, go for it right now, right? So let's go ahead and uh, roads. Uh, oh, that's so cool. Just seeing the plane go by like that. Dude, that's so dope. Um, no uh, no lights needed over here. 
at least for the vast uh, majority of it. And then eventually we might add some street lights once we are, uh, you know, once this place is operational, as it were. Let's go ahead and uh, auto build, please. Shift, click, and drag this entire thing. Yes, in the beautiful. It's going to cost us a little bit, but well worth it because it will speed up all of these uh, construction vehicles. And that'll just help make uh, make all this go so much faster. It's wild to see it all get built like this, actually. We don't do this very often where we, uh, we auto-build entire sections like this. This is such a massive project, too. We're also going to go ahead and get a uh, refueling um, spot in the area. Because well, the worst thing that could happen is uh, a vehicle has almost arrived, runs out of fuel, and has to loop back somewhere. Now, with all these roads done, will you stop being confused? Roads are almost all done. Yeah, it looks like we're good. These guys are figuring it out. All right, good stuff. Wonderful stuff. Cool. Lots of resources coming through, actually. So this is good. It's almost time to bring passengers through as well. Uh, but yes, the first order of business would be to get more gas stations. Let's go ahead and uh, purchase... Let's see, gas station, gas station. Which one are you, buddy? There you go. This is the one-way. Do I want the one-way gas station? Is there any value to a one-way gas station over here? We just go with a regular gas station. With a regular gas station. Close enough for the power. That's excellent. Go ahead and pop you down like... The, so I'm thinking one over here so that if it's... Uh, you know, if you've picked up some stuff and you're headed over... Because, like, let's see. Where is... Where are... Uh, fuel. No, I'm looking for a gas station. I guess there's one up over here. I think that's a gas station. Yeah. Okay, that's actually close enough to here that I'm not too concerned about putting one down over here. Okay, fair enough. But instead, let's go ahead and put the one that's going to go down over here. Uh, gas station. Pop you down over here, just outside. Down over here. I have two. It seems like overkill. Over here's not a bad idea. It's like just before, uh, before you get into the the thick of things, I suppose. The trouble is that um, I don't think I don't think vehicles have foresight. I don't think they go, oh, I'm going to run out of gas. It's more like, oh, I have just run out of gas. I got to loop back and, and and pick up pick up that gas, get some fuel, some petrol, if you will, at the petrol station. Let's see. Um, put you down. I used to say petrol, by the way. It's funny the what habits stick and which ones don't. But they still say dynasty. Um, an envelope. Pop you down here. I mean, it's cool, and and cool is nice. Cool is nice. I'm just wondering if I would rather have this go out for some other reason. Like, you know what? For example, for example, it would make quite a bit of sense. To maybe have this uh, loop around and connect if it would let me. I'm not sure it would, because we've got this connection over here. It's always weird to me. Like, what difference does it make if it's too close or not? All right, let's go ahead and uh, use the rule of cool for now. We can always reposition this if necessary. Right at the corner here. Literally a corner gas station. There you go. Go ahead and pay for you and for you. And of course, fuel will be delivered uh, by our fantastic convoy of, uh, wow, what, wow, I mean, I guess that's all it took, right, we just needed to, we just needed oil, oil's been the, the bottleneck over here, fuel is, we're overflowing with fuel, and that's fantastic to see, let's go ahead and add to you a couple more of these cisterns, again, the dumpers and the covered hull, they're all kind of like temporary, uh, but they'll stick around for now, go ahead and add a uh, couple more of these, sure, on top of things and let's go ahead and add this gas station over here obviously as a drop-off point yes unload question is the road go ahead and uh, double speed things try and build this road connection over here Trying to figure out the uh, the best way to do it pull out from over here sun begins to set Double speed again because we've got so much construction happening. I might as well pick it up a little bit, right? Pick up the pace a bit. Road continue over this way. Can we? Nope. On auto build. 
too steep. It wasn't too steep just literally moments ago. What the hell? There we go. Gonna flatten this. I wonder if I'm overdoing it here. That wasn't what I was originally gonna say. I wonder if I can do like the nice fancy kind of bridge stuff that we've been doing lately. Come up on high over here. Copy down over there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty straight. Ish. What are we looking at? Might be able to. Alright, let's see if we can't figure this out. Actually cancel this. Cancel that, and we're gonna go ahead and do a concrete bridge from here to here, maybe? Ooh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Could we go straight across? We could go straight across. Would we rather go straight across? Not necessarily. It doesn't make sense. Go straight across. All these like strange shapes that we're that we're getting. Hill. This kind of a thing. Quite like the idea of that. Gotta find that right, like the right look, the right aesthetic for this. Okay, if if we do this, man, that is an expensive bridge. That doesn't work for me. What can we do over here? We can get this up over here. Okay. Might demolish this so it's at a right angle. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Of course, after I pay for the road. Wouldn't have it any other way. And pause. I should hook these guys up first. So we can do that. Concrete bridge. Could maybe come over this way. Ooh, or... I guess it could kind of do this kind of a thing. Like that. Oh crap. <laughs> that auto build checked. I realize. Okay, back to the mud road. We would kind of loop back like so. Flatten this a bit. Come on now. Here we go. And from here to there, it's not straight. Here to here, and then from here to here. Kind of a bit of a... Adjustment, basically. I wonder if we can't follow this curve a little bit better. I'm really looking forward to those, like, curved highways and stuff we were talking about last time. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not an exact... It's not... We're not trying to replicate this curve. Does that look okay? Yeah, it looks good. It looks fine. Uh, how does this actually look over here? Yep, you got this. Go ahead, get that grass back. You know what? This, this, this is pretty cool. This is this is pretty neat, actually. And over here as well, we've got this coming over this way. Eventually, it'll connect over here. That's all good. We're not going to be adding more tracks, and we'll be adding something over here. But the the bridge should be fine as we add the connection over here. Right, like if we uh, if we take a look, let's go ahead and turn auto build off. Uh, build track. It would come like what? Like over to here and then across, or maybe even tighter. Actually, like up over here, maybe. So yeah, the the the, the bridge should not cause any trouble. All right, good stuff. So bridge, go ahead and fund your construction after all. And uh, road. Let's go ahead and auto build. Upgrade this. And upgrade all this as well. Get the stuff moving, right? Let's get the stuff moving. All right, cool. This uh, this bridge solution slash trick, I've been loving it. We could have made it a bit shorter if we wanted to, but you know what? Actually, we've got we've got a. This gives us some room for expansion over here and stuff if necessary. I think I'm fine with this uh, somewhat long bridge. Could have been uh, maybe a bit neater in its angle. But again, we have our limitations, right, with regards to brain and stuff. I could have done terraforming for days. I think that's I think that's perfectly fine. Cool, very cool. Like the uh, the bigger brother of uh, of some of these, the the three bridges. I got some really cool uh, name suggestions, actually, re referencing the uh, the three bridges. Um, too bad St. Elitesburg is the only name required here. I mean, we could put down... We could maybe give the train station a name. I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all let me know. Where this guy go? Now, it's been suggested that I should probably stop the uh, track construction 
when passengers start coming through as well because it's going to get messy. You're probably correct. Uh, I wouldn't mind experimenting with that. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to experiment with it. Um, now we have workers being picked up. We have that one bus line that we kicked off, right? Last time. I just want to see if uh, if that's all going okay. Did you come in through where? Oh, you are not the person I was looking for. Where are our new... Uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, list of lines. Custom lines. We have passenger... Get exactly what I called it. It had a loop in the name, I thought. Thought. Uprising grad. There's no range. Oh, there we go. This guy's probably on that line. Get him off at the bus station, and they get on to the train station. Yeah, okay, wonderful. So that's that's working fine. What was the name of this station this uh thing again? Right. Loop. Yes, yeah, St. Elitesburg Station Worker Loop. Uh, why the hell can I not find it? Workers, workers, custom, line. It just be that I'm blind. Oh, there we go, worker loop. Just like faded into the background there. Fair enough. I mean, it's got uh, three buses. Well, four. Going to start that fourth one as well. They should be able to get uh, people moving smoothly enough. Let's go ahead and stop the pause there. Uh, what I need to do, though, is I need to get workers down to these uh, construction sites down over here. So let's go ahead and get uh, some trains. I believe the best place to get these trains would actually be all the way up over here again. Uh, I think that's the closest spot. There's, of course, the uh, the depot up over here as well. But I don't think that's going to fly. What is this? What is this rave going on over here? I guess we're finally pulling just a little bit too much power. Probably pulling just a little bit too much power over here. Where are our substations? Uh... One up there, one down over here. We can't be the only one, obviously. Maximum is not all that high. Where are you getting power from? Here. There we go, maximum is 158. That would explain uh, the rave we've got going on over here. A little too dark to adjust these rural uh, light setups. I think we'll wait until the sun rises and then we'll get back in there. But, uh, but yeah, this, uh, oof, boy, this needs, uh, this needs some work. This needs some work. Anyway, we got the long train depot there. Up over here, we have a long train one as well, right? Yeah. Now, it's been, it's been recommended that I maybe check out some, uh, train sets. Wouldn't be averse to that. We're, of course, looking for, um, electrical. What about in the west? No options for the west, eh? All right. Train set, train set. Which train set shall we use? 416 passengers. My only concern is length. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, this one's fancy. I like the uh, thumbnail. This one looks a bit more old-fashioned, even though it's actually newer and it's been used for longer. This one looks fancy, though fewer passengers as well. Oh, this one, 605 passengers. Are you kidding me? We don't <laughs> need that many. Or do we? Now let's go with let's go with this one. Uh, we can't even use this one; it uses fuel. Let's go ahead and use. Now, these guys are so closely priced. This one's a bit older. 110 kilometers versus 120 kilometers per hour. 150 on this one. Damn. I was gonna look at some mods. I might look at some mods afterwards. So I wanted to see some of these train sets that I had never really considered or, or used. Um, 600 passengers at a time. This thing will never be full is my concern, is it'll never be full. But it's only 300,000, or sorry, wow, math. 500,000 rubles more expensive, less than 500,000 rubles more expensive. I wish I could see the length though, because we measured everything out and now if the lengths don't match up, then we're in trouble. You know what? Look, if it doesn't work out, we can always sell it. Let's go ahead and pick this one up over here. It's a little bit slower, but it picks up more people. Right. I guess eventually we'd like to provide workers to this new manufacturing area and then further down at Petrograd as well. So you know what? Sure. Let's go ahead and pick you up. Oh, that's not going to fit. This is not going to fit. No way this is going to fit. Um, 
list of vehicles, I think. Trains, 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 trains. Again, I'm not too fussed about the, the cost of it. But where, where, where? Oh, right, trains. <laughs> like looking for... Um, 124 meters. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to fly. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Uh, I believe we're actually good to get that going, but I just want to tackle this first over here. Getting a lot done today. Getting a variety of things done today, actually. Um, but let's see. We've got you. Got the switch there hooking up over here. You go on this way. Wonder if we... Wonder where we'd want to get the next one down. Like, probably like somewhere down over here, potentially. Wouldn't be a bad idea. But, of course, we're going to use our modded uh, power substation. Just to keep that... Uh, yeah, because we have this... This is a... Is this a switch or is this a substation? This is a substation. Oh, yeah. See, this is overwhelmed as well. We'll need another switch somewhere over here. Because even though... This has the uh, the connection icons. It doesn't actually pass power through, just as a heads up. Let's put the substation down. Right there. Over here, maybe? Be over here? I wish I could hide those uh, yellow markers. I'm going to find a nice spot for it. The power coming through. Put it down, like, over here or something. I think that's nice. I don't want it to supply power down over there, though. What about over here? Sure. There. I think that works for me. I'm like... That. Nope. Infrastructure getting in the way. That. Alright, cool. Uh, we need a switch, which is where... This is always the... Of part. <laughs> Finding what I need. Not technical services. Power transformer. Yeah, there we go. Switch. Electric switch tower. Or this switch. What is this? Oh, these are new. Oh, no, no, right, right. I remember downloading these. Right, for when I wanted to have more uh, high, like, high in and out. Like, high voltage ins and outs. Uh, anyway, we need this for now. Really hard to work with, aren't you? Use this one instead. Sure. Go ahead and get rid of this. Pop you down like so. Go ahead and get our wiring in. Hook you up. Hook you up. There we go. And then over here, the line. Hmm. Up like so. If I can't do oops, something like this, where and like goes to a point where it feels like the wires all are, as it were, we can like hide them among the trees and whatnot. Yeah, this kind of a thing. Pull you over to here, and then scoop you up. There you go. Cool. Go ahead and pay for all that. Pick up the pace. Go ahead and pay for you. And pay for you. Now hopefully. There we go. 92% on you. 84% on you. I think the raving should stop. These party animals at, uh, at Brixtonia. Uh, actually, on the topic of Brixtonia, the other thing I wanted to work out was the export of bricks. Because um, God knows we need to do that. This guy picks up bricks. And where do you go? St. Partia Cargo? Okay, that's you're just ferrying back and forth, eh? I wonder if I shouldn't start... Yeah, maybe we're maybe you're ready to, to start going beyond the borders to, to, to export whatever is left over, because... Oh, actually, hang on a second. I think you... Hmm, you bring electronics back, right? Okay, we should do that first. Okay, I see what I need to do. 
I see what I need to do. You pick up steel bricks clothes. You drop off electronics. You come down over here. You drop off everything. You pick up electronics. Um. Hmm. Then let's go ahead and add this stop. Nope, that's not what I meant. This stop. Get rid of you. I wish I could like expand this a little bit. Delete that stop. Veterinkograd, Par Saint Partia. Get rid of the ship dock over here. When you come back, I want you to unload electronics. Okay, so you head down over here, unload a bunch of stuff, load electronics, come back over here, drop off electronics, and with everything else, you go and uh, go beyond the borders and export everything that's surplus. That should do the trick. Yeah. Where are you right now? This is you. Okay. Kind of kind of cack this up a little bit, but not the end of the world. What I'm hoping is he's going to loop back around and, and head down to to here to unload all the electronics and then he'll be on his way out and that way at least we can start exporting some of these bricks rather than just bring them down over here only to bring them you know back up over here there were some suggestions to just stop the manufacturing of bricks and things like that which is maybe not a bad idea um but it's just it's employment we could swap the the brick production out for hang on a second buddy come on back back up in here or does this not work for some reason? Um, we could swap it out for prefab panel production, which was a, one of the suggestions. That's not a bad idea at all either. Uh, there are options for sure. Now what's weird to me actually is that we don't have just a pile of bricks over here. And why is that? Why is that? We've got some bricks up over here. Sure. Hmm. There shouldn't be anything. I do wonder if uh, if we just had this surplus of bricks that's been holding us uh, hostage, as it were. Wh where is this guy now? Go all the way here, right? Okay, if you're just gonna do your thing, then you can go ahead and do your thing. That's fine by me. Oh my god, look at this! It's a bit of a hot mess over here. I'm a little thrown off, actually, now that I think about it, by the whole brick situation. Like, where are our bricks coming from? Pretty sure our bricks were coming from the brick factory up over here by Party Power. Right, this guy over here maxed out on bricks. But who's bringing those bricks down over here? <laughs> it's been so long since we've been here. Uh, you bring bricks over. Okay. And you bring bricks over. Okay. And you bring bricks over from the factory. All right, so yeah, we do have... We do have train... We have... Yeah, okay. We are bringing bricks over. Fair enough. Just... Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I, I could have sworn I'd set up a, a train to do it, but it slipped my mind. My apologies, folks. All right, cool. So that uh, is starting to make sense. You are now headed where? Back up there. Okay, I'm going to leave this guy be. I want to see what happens... I don't bother him. Oh, this is actually kind of messy. We've never spent the, or at least I've never uh, spent the time looking at uh, at this movement. And it's uh, it's a little, it's a little, little chunky, a little clunky. All right. Uh, back down over here, though. Um, all the resources are being delivered. The excavators are getting some work done. Let's go ahead and provide that employment, though. I want to take a look at unemployment right now. It is at roughly 4K, let's say. Roughly. From up over here over here, you, my good friend, are gonna go here, you're gonna load up on workers of all kinds, you come down over here, you're gonna unload workers of all kinds, and from here they'll disperse and go where they have to, uh, yeah, that should do the trick, alright, let's go ahead and slow it down, one speed, let's go ahead and launch you, 
and let's go ahead and watch. Exciting times. I do like watching the maiden voyage of new uh, new lines and whatnot, so it should be fun. Hopefully it goes through without any issues. Uh, that's another reason for watching the maiden voyages, of course, is to, to spot any any potential problems. Look at that. Look at that sight. What a what a beauty. Nice. That's a long train. Shouldn't be a problem, I, I hope. I was eyeing some pretty cool mods, actually. Um, the one that looks like a very modern 2000s era train that I might uh, consider getting. Okay, once we get through, the fuel and or bitumen train should be clear to go. Yeah, excellent. Alright, here we go. I wonder if we'll reach our higher speeds with this train, actually. 90 kilometers per hour right now. 91, 92. Getting there. It's cool even just like passing through these trees and whatnot. Going under these bridges. Yo, it's pretty it's pretty cool. <laughs> just seeing it all in action. Oh man, this game. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go through the tunnel or we're we gonna yeah, no, we're gonna go off to the side over here, of course. Good stuff. There's a little like highway that we built, our custom highway. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, back underneath this. Go oh, nice and easy. Stuff. It's quite a trip from that depot. Again, it's not like passengers have to make this trip every time, but from that depot, it's a it's a pretty big trip. That off in the distance. See the not even off in the distance all that far. 110 kilometers, so we do reach our maximum speed over here. Excellent. Yeah, you can see all the high rises. Good stuff, good stuff. Around the bend, around this new development as well. The very same development that we're actually servicing, really. Oh, it's so weird to think about all these, like, new things that we've been building. Building? Building. Alright, now we're gonna turn on in. Alright, let's take a look over here. Looks like we are just a little bit on the longer side, but it's okay. I think we just need to move the semaphores around, if that's the case. We will arrive over here. There we go. Beautiful. We are a little long. <laughs> That's okay. Passengers are getting on. Uh, let me just check real quick over here. We are... Well within the semaphores. We have a lot of room if we wanted to shift these guys back a little bit. So that's good to know. Alright, good stuff. Yeah, so we should be we should be fine. With that said, we should be fine. 163 workers. That's the thing. It's like we're we're maybe a little uh, a little bit larger than we need to be, but hopefully eventually we'll be servicing a lot more people at this station. I believe it has a pretty high capacity, if memory serves me right. But uh, we'll we'll find out, I suppose. All right, back to our trip over here. Off we go. Bit of uh, nervous electrical noises over here as we like <laughs> sneak under this uh, this bridge. Very well. A little bit of clipping, but what are you gonna do? We should be good here. We pull through. Look at that. Look at the length of that train, man. It's huge. We don't have much wiggle room actually there. But it looks like we're okay though. And a fuel train actually just went past us. Fuel or bitumen. Went just past us right now. So that means that's working alright. Here we go. Beautiful stuff. Up this hill over here. We can keep an eye out for semaphores as well. Are we... Oh yeah, that length, we just barely fit between these, uh, these semaphores. Good stuff, good stuff. A little bit of a struggle, obviously, going up this, uh, mountain, if you will. And loop around this way. There we go. Look at that. Look at all the construction going on right now. All the construction vehicles and stuff. Ah, dude, this is so cool. This is so cool. And everyone's going to file out and hopefully find their assignments, as it were. Yep. Good stuff. We're going to flip around at our he, he, be on our way back. Again, these trains are so much larger than the actual uh, stations themselves, eh? But uh, it looks like our, our work with the lengths and stuff has, has been decent, so that's that's promising. Now, as these workers actually arrive... Can I find uh, citizens? Isn't the way to do it. Citizens' living preferences. Is there any way to check? 
Hmm. Worker counts. Nah, I was hoping that by clicking on these I would get like just a number of whatever, anything really. And and uh get the intel that way, but I guess not. Let's say 41 over here, 25 over here, 17. Again, it's not uh, everybody right now all together all at once. Yeah, this is actually, its a, it feels a little bit on the slow side, doesn't it? it? I wonder if it is a bit on the slower side. Let me check. Um, <laughs> look at how wild this is. So busy. Uh, what is your max speed? 140. It is a bit on the slow side. I feel like the uh, the train set might have been a bad idea, actually. The 40 kilometers per hour, 30 kilometers per hour is a big difference in speed. Hmm. Not the end of the world. Uh, we can always, again, like I said, swap these guys out. That's the funny thing about these train sets. It's just like, I feel like... This, it's, I, and, you know, I guess it's why I haven't bothered with them in the past is because, like, we can put together a better train of our own. Ooh, this is a perfect case study over here. You're going to come through. You're coming through right now. So you're actually going to get stuck over here, of course, because you're supposed to. You're stopping. You're waiting for this train to push through. This train is pushing through. No problem. Actually slowing everything down because it's a slow train. But as you come through here, you're still waiting. You're going to come through there, and then you're going to open up. Yeah. Enough space there. You're going to turn off over here, and you're going to start moving over there already. Yeah, okay, good. Hmm. I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Because, like, this guy... Let's see. It took that... It took the passenger train... A like, it was going at 110 kilometers on the way up over here. It reached at maximum speed. But this guy over here, are you able to get past 110, or is the slope too uh, too hard? I think the distance is too small for us to be able to tell. Looks like he'd be running at maximum speed as well if he wasn't uh, if he didn't have to stop over there. Ah. Huh. Huh. What do y'all think? Swap the train set out for a faster, custom assembled train. I'm kind of leaning that way because there's a lot of workers who are waiting for. Uh, for service and the faster we can go back and forth the faster we can you know ferry those folks over a little concerned about that well actually now that night has fallen as well uh why 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 you still are a little overburdened or is it just that we're not uh too many connection like it's it's either that we have uh, overwhelmed um, see, I don't know how to, like, how to, how to communicate the wattage or the voltage as, like, okay, well, what's the problem here? Especially because there's just, goddamn, so many numbers. <laughs> like, are we just simply not providing enough power to this entire area? Do I need to pull another line from, uh, from these power plants? Uh, or is it a matter of, yeah, things being overwhelmed? I could see it being either over here. Because, let's see, this guy is overwhelmed. Got a few connections. I thought these guys were fine. This guy's fine. Hmm. Not exactly sure deal with this later. I feel like I might need to pull another fresh power uh, line over. And I was trying to figure out the best way to do that, because right now yeah, like, this is something I need to get, like, just better at uh, at comprehending. What I'm understanding is uh, from our power plant over here, we got 7 megawatts over here and that gets split up. We're sending 2.4 up there and 2.3 down here. Well, roughly, give or take, 2.4 in both directions, right? Now that 2.4, still 2.4 over here, and then it's being split. Where does this end? It ends over here, where it's only pulling 0.02. It ends over here, where it's pulling 3.6. Like, that's... We got 3.6 over, or 3.0 over there, let's say. 
and still 2.4 coming through over here as well. Like that, the math doesn't add up, right? Like that's that's not how this is supposed to work. I suspect. I gotta figure. I gotta figure this thing out. It hasn't been something that like has been uh, stopping us making progress and stuff like that, but it's something I do want to figure out. Um, but feel free to inform me if you if you know what's, uh, what what my hangup is. Uh, but I think right now the issue over here is we need to uh, bring more power to the area, not just find more spots to distribute it from. Uh, now, on the topic of bringing more, are we bringing more tourists in, and are we more bringing more food to these tourists? We are not. Hmm. Quite a few unable to eat. Now, what's the deal with that? Why? I guess these distribution offices are just working overtime. Do we have food in here? We have plenty of food in here. All right. We are paying for alcohol, right? Of course, we're paying for it down over here, though. Hmm. We could build another distribution office. Quite good distribution office. Under storage, perhaps? Find it someday. There we go. And we fit you in here. That would make me very happy. Need flat terrain. I can arrange that. But I saw things turn yellow for a second there. It's faster to flatten that way. Level terrain height from center. Go ahead and flatten this. It just keeps everything kind of organized over here. Keeps all the stuff together. Go ahead and pay for it, please. There we go. So much faster. Off building on fire. Studensky broadcasting station here. Fire truck's been called over. We got a fire truck nearby, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be good. Excellent. Back up over here. Our medium distribution office. It's off for now. I just want to make sure it places okay. Now, is that fire extinguished? Pop you down over here. Yep, yeah, it's good. Uh, get this road down to here and over to here. That'll do the trick. Um, go up this way. You load up over there. I'm tempted to hook this up over here. Also tempted to completely avoid that. Wondering about the potential for congestion. What would happen? You would come through, you'd load up over here, then rather than go down this way, you'd come up over this way. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. Come up over this way, and then you would go into the main roads. Yeah, I suppose that's not too bad. Changes our beautiful flow a little bit, but not the end of the world. Let me flatten this a bit. I don't quite like the uh, the curve here, which is exactly why I placed it down. <laughs> that was an accident. What about that? Uh, a little bit better. Oh, come on, man. Sure. There we go. Much better. Much better. Perfect. Auto build. Upgrade these. No need for lights. Uh, we'll, I think we'll start seeing this get used a fair bit more. Don't use this as a... Oh, okay, this is for construction. I was worried that our construction vehicles were like coming over here to skip by. No, no, no. Don't worry about this. We're just going to pay for it. And again, I wish you could uh, copy assignments, vehicles and assignments over from one building to another because we're just going to have to replicate that. I mean, this is a good spot for these buildings. These guys are all packed together. A lot of resources are available in the area and stuff, so that's all good. Uh, but now that I look at distribution offices, it reminds me that down over here, how do we still have, I guess, harvest season? All of our trucks were busy picking up uh, crops down over here. But we have reduced the amount of crops at the, uh, the agro farm, so that's good. Look at that. Look at all the crops coming through. Who's still delivering crops to this building? And why? We don't have any trucks here. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm glad that I didn't uh, miss that as it were. That's fine. Down over here. Oh my god, look at this progress. Okay, now that workers and stuff are all coming through over here. Don't need thousands of workers per se. I mean, obviously, the more we have, the faster it'll work. Oh, we're actually almost done this mechanical components factory. Are you kidding me? Again, double speed is helping as well. But this is... Uh, this is happening fast. This is all happening so fast. 
Ukraine keeps bringing more people through. What is our unemployment looking like? 3,500. I mean, of course, because we're only moving so many people at a time. The, uh, the slower train is a uh, potential pain point. By the time you get there, there's already 110 or so people giving up on their day's wages, as it were. All right, you know what, folks? I think we're going to do a little experiment over here. Where is our comparative train? Not you, but you. Actually, what's your... 160? 160. They're both 160. All right. I think I might go with the uh, this red train. I can carry 500 workers at a time. A little much, but uh, we'll try it. So, for you, I would purchase the electrical locomotive. Get the... What is this? The CHS2T... Mmm, yes. There's also the S24. The older, though. Sure, let's go with the S2T. And it is... How many cars? One, two, three, four. Go ahead and purchase. Passenger wagons. Ah, crap, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was the UICY. Seems to add up. Yeah, 4 times 125 is 500. It's 500, that makes sense. 1, 2, 3, 4. Good stuff. We go ahead and we're going to assign to you the same schedule as your friend down here. That does not work, does it? Of course not. Okay, not a problem. It's a pretty simple line. Over here, load workers of all kinds. Over here, unload workers of all kinds. Tourists, go ahead and start. All right. I feel like that'll be a fair sight more effective. And we're just doing a little comparative analysis over here, I suppose. We'll see how it goes. I think we all know how it will go. But I wanted to give the train sets a try because I've had folks uh, request train sets a few times now. I've always felt like, well, why not? Look at how much faster that train is. Holy crap. It's, uh, it's measurable, obviously. Let's see how this, uh, it's going to catch up over here. Yeah, folks, I think, uh, again, I, I wanted to do the train set because folks have been asking for quite some time to check out train sets. Uh, and I kept uh, feeling like I wasn't really uh, checking them out. I wasn't giving them a fair shot, but I feel like, um, I feel like the reason is, uh, is evident here. Now, what actually happens when we have two trains running the line over here? This should be fine, right? We're going to pull up over here. We're going to... Go to the right side. Yes, indeed. And as soon as you get out from there, you're going to get released. Beautiful. No trains backed up. Everything's moving smoothly, it looks like. Excellent. Loving it. I am absolutely loving it. This construction seems to be going okay. We'll pause over here. We're missing some concrete. Fair enough. You're carrying 183 workers. You are carrying what you've got 20 right now. There we go, those buses have just arrived. Good stuff. This guy was waiting for the petrol tra- or petrol- wow, actually- <laughs> Old habits die hard, I guess. The uh, fuel train or the bitumen train to go by. Man, I used to say- I used to say- I, I've, I've almost always said, uh, truck. Though from some- from time to time I'd say lorry. Uh, but, um, but lift and elevator is another one. Uh, yeah, it's weird. That was, uh, that was a weird slip. <laughs> okay, strange. 145 people waiting already because that bus just arrived. Again, if we had two of these trains, I feel like it would have, uh, we would have already had a train up there picking these guys up, right? I don't know, someone to consider. Someone to consider. Concrete is missing. We're doing okay. Missing a lot of resources here, actually. But it's all coming through. There we go. Good stuff. This is a good indication of how many workers we'll be getting in the area as well. And like the timing and the flow of all of it as well. Awesome. Unemployment's sub 3k, but you know, like, it's it's doing a little dance, obviously. Doing a little dance. These guys are still under construction. We're missing prefab panels and steel. Interesting. Interesting things to be missing. I assume our train over here is picking up too much steel to deliver all up over here. 
wonder if I should slow that down a little bit. Just to, like, allow the steel to be used elsewhere as well. Namely in construction and whatnot, what have you. But we have plenty of steel here already. What the hell? <laughs> it's just taken the, uh, the trucks a long time to bring the resources down over here, I suppose. Seems to be the case. Folks, let me know what you think about the uh, the train situation. I feel like we should get rid of the train set and uh, and put this down. And I, unless I hear strong words to the to the contrary, I think that's exactly what we'll do. Get another one of these CHS two Ts uh, or something else that's you know equally fast or something like that to uh, to service this line. Oh, that's good for unemployment. That's pretty solid. You know what? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. But folks, this is what we're gonna call it. Pretty pleased with how today's session went. We accomplished a lot, uh, a lot of uh, a variety of things. Oh, one thing to check over here: is this still? Yeah, okay, we're still having a rave party over there. Fair enough. Uh, but we have accomplished a lot. And look at the city at night. It is, it is wild to see. Uh, it's also wild to see like this area is basically all done, minus a couple of buildings over here that need some work. Uh, this area is basically all done. We've got uh, this area down over here, like massive amounts of progress, really. I mean, some of these things are nearly done. I mean, it's it's wild to me. Uh, that was fast. Again, double speed, yes, but like, just, you know, like clockwork. We had this area figured out, and it's all coming together. It's not taking forever at all, as I'd initially anticipated. Folks, hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. Again, just as a reminder, if you're interested in becoming a channel member or patron, links to those are in the a description down below and on that note of course a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis y'all keep us alive and running smoothly and of course a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching until next time that's for done